So really quickly, I just finished filming and I realized I never plugged my microphone in. So if the sound is awful on this video, I am so sorry. This has just been like the morning of good intentions that just has not gone my way. I don't know if any of you have had that morning before, but I'm still gonna show you the video. It's still gonna be great, so still watch it, but I just apologize in advance if the sound quality is really bad. Okay, enjoy. <laughs> Happy New Year everybody and welcome to my channel. It is officially 2018 which is super exciting because it is the start of a new year which means there are endless possibilities for all that you will do this year. And I'm super excited to be here talking to you guys today about one resolution I hope that you all have, which is changing up your beauty routine. It is definitely the time to transfer over to clean beauty. There are so many amazing products that are coming out on the market that have been out on the market that people are talking about, whether they're into green beauty or not. So today I put together a makeup starter kit for all of you guys who are looking to transfer over. This is kind of your one-stop shop to know exactly how to get started, what products are worth getting, and what set to just try out. I did one of these about a year ago, but that was when I first started my natural beauty routine, and that was honestly my makeup starter kit, and I feel like I have learned so much since then, so it only made sense to do it again, and it is the perfect time of year to do it. Like I said, I hope this is everyone's New Year's resolution to just kind of change up your lifestyle choices, make healthier, more conscious choices with the products that you're buying, whether that be your makeup or what you have in your household, what you have in your fridge, all that stuff we will be going into this year and there's a car alarm going off. Well, I'm still super excited, so I wanna get started because I tried to do a minimal makeup starter kit because I know for me when I was transferring over to Green Beauty, the sticker price on all of these products was the most shocking thing. It was like I'd pay this, this massive amount of money to get this product shipped to me because it's hard to find natural beauty in like a normal store that you can go into. And then I'd get it and it was about half the size that I thought it was and I felt like it was an insane price for what I was getting. However, <laughs> these products do last you a really long time and what I've learned is that you just have to pay a little bit more for natural beauty, but I've mentioned this before, the more that natural beauty starts taking off, the more there'll be a competitive market and hopefully prices will start going down. So I tried to keep it really minimal so that it'll also be affordable as a starter kit, especially if you're doing kind of a big clean out of your old makeup and you want like a total refresh, then these are the products that I would choose and I would just start with this. You could also just purchase one at a time, like if your foundation runs out, try swapping it for what I'm recommending. That way you can slowly build up your collection until you have only green products. I kind of did more of that than just getting rid of everything because I was in this weird transition phase where I was kind of still using non-natural products and even now I'm still kind of transitioning. I don't want you guys to think that like I'm by any means perfect at only buying natural products. I, for example, don't always buy natural hair care products because that's not something I've done a ton of research into and that's something that I would obviously love to do in the new year, but it's also a lot about affordability and just where you can make the life changes. So don't feel pressure to like change everything up at once. Just start slow and even one small change can make a huge difference. So without further ado, let's jump into what I would recommend. A lot of these products are gonna be familiar because they were in my 2017 favorites video, which if you guys missed that, definitely go check that out. I talk about all the products that I've been loving and discovering this year, but, oh, I just realized I forgot to put on my rings this morning. Do you guys ever wear like the same piece of jewelry every day? So when you don't wear it, it actually feels like something's missing, like you feel slightly naked. That was me and my rings right now. Okay, anyway, so there are two base products that I would recommend. So if you are looking for just an everyday, like all-in-one product, you don't want to have too much maintenance, you just want to be able to kind of slap it on and then get out the door, I would definitely recommend the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular CC Cream. This has a ton of skin benefits. It also has an SPF 30 in it, which is great and I find that it just gives me a really healthy glow and on good skin days I tend to just wear this or on days where I'm just feeling lazy and need an SPF I'll just wear this so I can't recommend this enough you can see how much I've used of it it's almost it's down to the last little bit I'm gonna need to repurchase this pretty soon but I would definitely recommend checking this out if you're into light coverage or you have great flawless skin and don't really need to worry about it then I would do this you're looking for something that's going to be a little bit heavier, that's going to be a light to a medium coverage, 
that you can really build up. I would definitely recommend the Vapor Organic Beauty Atmosphere Foundation. I talked about this before. I did a full review on this. I think it's a great foundation. It dries sort of like a velvety finish, so I feel like it's nice for just wearing out in the daytime. Your skin still looks luminous, but it's not kind of like slipping and sliding on your skin, and you definitely don't get greasy from it, which I love. I also love the buildability of this. You can do kind of one layer, very light layer like I have on today, and it's just super natural coverage, or you can keep building it up. You get kind of like a medium to maybe like a low full coverage, if that makes sense. I definitely don't think this is like full, full coverage, but it covers the areas where I need it to and definitely helps with some pigmentation. Next base product, which I personally think is the most important in any makeup kit is a good concealer. And for me, I've been using the Hint Beauty Concealer and I personally feel like this is the best one that I've tried. I've so far, I've tried four concealers and out of those four, this is the best one that I've tried. I just feel like it lasts the longest. I feel like it's the easiest to work with. And I feel like it has the highest coverage. Before I get into kind of like the multi-use products, two quick eye products that I would of course have in my makeup starter kit because these are products I use every day is the Zuzu Luxe Eyebrow Gel. This is just a clear gel if you're needing some taming. I would highly recommend this. If you don't have crazy brows though, then just skip that product. One thing I think everyone should have is a good mascara in their makeup starter kit. And for me, that is the Lily Lolo Vegan Black Mascara. I have talked about this so many times. I love this mascara. I think it's definitely the best one I've found so far, although you guys gave me great suggestions to try on my last video, which I'm super excited to kind of branch out and see how it compares because to me, this is like my holy grail mascara product. If you're a fan of waterproof mascara, unfortunately this is not waterproof, but I can say that it lasts pretty well and out of all the natural mascaras that I've tried, this one doesn't smudge and when it does get wet, it just kind of like flakes off for me. It doesn't run, which is super nice unless I'm like, you know, really taking it off at night, but if there's just a little bit of rain, it just like flakes. Okay, from here you can go kind of two ways. You can either go the powder way or you can go the cream way. So I'm going to show you both and these products that I picked are multi-use products. So they might seem like a hefty investment right now, but you can use them a ton of different ways. So let's start with cream products because personally I'm a fan of cream products and I think Natural Beauty does an amazing job of cream products. And this is really just like your all-in-one kit that I'm about to show you. You guessed it. It is the RMS Beauty Signature Set. This is just a great palette to start off with if you're just getting into green beauty. You get a lot of different things in here. You get two blush lip colors. You get two um, eyeshadow colors. You get a bronzer here, which I am calling an eyeshadow color as well. You also get the highlighter, which I'm calling an eyeshadow color as well. And then you get a lip balm in here, which is just great. It's also good for if you have any dry patches, just popping a little bit of that on. Just find you can use this palette so many different ways. And I think it is worth the investment. Also, RMS Beauty is kind of like a cult brand of Green Beauty. So if you're someone who loves to get the latest and greatest or kind of like wants to be in the know of what's going on, RMS Beauty is always kind of at the top of the charts and is definitely very popular. And especially their highlighters, you're seeing people who aren't even in the Green Beauty community trying them out and loving them as well. So that's when you know that something is really good. If that's slightly outside your budget, but you are looking for one product to purchase, this is another product that I would definitely recommend. So I actually have it in Living Luminizer, but if I were to finish this one and repurchase something, I would purchase it in Magic Luminizer. This is just a really beautiful cream highlight. It can also be used as an eyeshadow. There's just endless ways that you can use this product to make your skin look glowy and healthy. And it doesn't look sparkly on your skin. It just looks like you have like a beautiful mist or something like that, just on the high points of your face. And it just really draws light into like the perfect areas. And I just, yeah, I can't get over this product. I think it's truly, truly amazing. And if you are gonna invest in one cream product that you can kind of use two different ways, then I would definitely say pick up a pot of either the Living Luminizer or the Magic Luminizer. Again, this is from RMS Beauty. This has been like the most epic video to try and film with the amount of noise that's going on outside, the amount of products that I forgot to put in this video. I hope this is not a sign of what is to come in 2018. But anyways, I'm gonna try and edit out the noise and just continue because it does not seem to be stopping anytime soon. So that was kind of the cream route. If you're into cream products, those are what I would recommend. If you wanna do powders, there's one brand that I think does powders right, and that is Lily Lolo. I have been using this product for a long time now, and it is their Sculpt and Glow palette. This is something I would recommend buying because you can use it a lot of different ways. These are also two great eyeshadow colors, so you can use this all over your lids, the lighter color, which is the highlight shade, um, and then you can use the bronze shade in your crease, which is the bronzer shade, obviously. 
And that could be the only kind of powder palette in your makeup starter kit. But if you did want to have an eyeshadow palette, like a designated eyeshadow palette, then I would also recommend trying out the Lily Lolo eyeshadow palettes. This one is in Laid Bare, and this is the one that gets the most use for me because, like I said, I tend to gravitate towards more natural looks. You get eight shadows, and when I first got this, this was one of the products I was like, this is tiny, what the heck? But let me ask you a question. When was the last time you ever finished one of those massive palettes out? And I'm pretty sure if you put this next to like an Urban Decay palette, the eyeshadow's actual size isn't that different. It's more the packaging that's a lot smaller. So definitely check out these. I think they have about three or four different versions of this palette that you can choose from. I have two. I have the Laid Bare palette and the Filthy Rich palette. And like I said, I use the Laid Bare all the time. And for a makeup starter kit, especially if you're just starting out makeup or you're looking for the basics, like the classic white t-shirt or a pair of jeans, then I would say that this is the equivalent to that because you can get so many looks out of it, but it's all very like natural buildable colors that all go together and you're not gonna get any scary neons or anything like that in this kit. Of course, the final product is a lip product. I went ahead and I picked this 100% pure lipstick in the color Clover. This is the pomegranate oil anti-aging lipstick actually, and they have a lot of different versions and different formulas that you can choose from, but I picked this one because I think it's the most versatile in terms of it's really moisturizing, so if you're used to like a tinted chapstick or something, you can just apply a little bit of this like I did today and you get kind of like a stain, but it's also very hydrating to your lips. Or you can apply it straight from the bullet and really like pack it on and you get a lot of pigment and more of a glossy finish. Out of all the different companies that I've seen make lipsticks, I do think 100% Pure has the most shade variation and there'll be a shade for everyone there. So definitely head over to their website and check that out. I have a whole video on different shades that you guys can watch as well if you're interested in kind of what I have and what I really enjoy. Okay guys, <laughs> yet another interruption. My sister is um, going on vacation, so I'm puppy sitting for her, so she just dropped off a whole load of stuff that I need to unpack and get ready for the puppy to come over to my house, which I'm so excited for. But really quickly, I just wanna sign off from this video. So that was kind of like my Green Beauty starter kit. It is definitely the time to transition over to Green Beauty if you are feeling like that is something you wanna do, I think even just doing it one product at a time is awesome. Any progress that you can make in terms of making your life healthier and happier is just amazing. And there's totally a reason to pat yourself on the back. So I totally wanna support you guys towards that goal because that is my New Year's resolution to be happier and healthier. And I think that if we all kind of are in this community together, then we can do it and just really support each other and give each other advice. And this is my advice to you, is to pick up some of these products, try out some of these products, and see if switching over to Green Beauty is something that you would be interested in. If you are already a Green Beauty lover, then that is awesome. Make sure to show this video to someone who maybe isn't and wants to try. Like I said, it's all about helping each other out and helping each other make better choices for a better life. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are already subscribed, but if not, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I post weekly videos every Friday. And make sure to follow me over on Instagram. I was doing a lot of giveaways for the holiday season, and I just post there a lot, and it's really fun to kind of talk with you guys. I'm on Instagram a lot more, so it's a lot easier to have a conversation and kind of talk in real time over on Instagram. So I will have all the products listed down below with where you can get them and links to exactly where you can get them. So hopefully that'll help you guys in starting this journey. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's so fun to be back on camera in the new year and I'm really excited for all the fun to come this year. Make sure to always let me know any suggestions for videos you have down below and I'd be happy to do them. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next week. Bye.